Right, in this video, I'm going to provide the explanations for the homework questions then from assignment 1E. Let's look at the question. Hi student, in this video, we're going to do a rather challenging question. Right, so during a test flight, an aircraft flies from Sandyland to White City and back to Sandyland. The distance between these two places, these two cities, is 450 km. Total time taken for the whole journey is 5 hours 30 minutes. Given that there is a constant wind blowing from Sandyland to White City, yeah. and the speed of the aircraft is still air, it's 165 km per hour, you are asked to find the speed of the wind. And you need to state the assumptions you have to make to solve this problem. Right, are you ready? Right, so in this question, uh, first of all, we're going to let the speed of the wind be x kilometer per hour, and we're going to use Mr. Jobs Podia to solve this problem. So he has a four steps uh, process to go about solving problems. Step number one is to understand the problem. And by understanding the problem means what information is given in the question, right? So we know that the distance between Sandy Land and White City is given to be 450 km. We are told the total time taken for the whole journey from City Land to White City and, and return from City Land to Sandy Land. We also know that there's a constant wind blowing from Sandy Land to White City and we know the speed of the aircraft in still air. So these are the information given in the question. And what is it that we need to find? Yes, we need to find the speed of the wind in kilometer per hour. Right, so therefore, since this is something that we need to find, we let the speed of the wind be x kilometer per hour. Right, so what are the underlying mathematical concepts? Right, so if you look at the questions, uh, we talk about distance, we talk about time taken, we talk about speed. So therefore, the mathematical concepts, uh, the underlying mathematical concepts would be the connection between speed, distance and time. Also because that is a constant wind blowing, so we have to assume that this constant wind blowing is in the same direction of the aircraft from Sandy Land to White City. So hence, the speed of the aircraft will be 165 plus x. Because the speed of the aircraft is 165 in the still air. So if there's a wind blowing in the same direction, right, it will push the aircraft to move faster. So hence, the speed of the aircraft will be 165 plus x. Now for the return journey, the aircraft is actually moving against the wind. Right, so therefore the speed will be slowed down. And hence the speed of the aircraft from what city to Sandy Den will be 165 minus x. Right, so these are the mathematical concepts that uh, we have to take note of before we solve the problem. All right, so after we have understood the problem and also uh, know what we are supposed to find. Stage number two is to think of a plan. Right, so what do we know about the relationship between speed, distance and time that could help us to form an equation? Yes, we know that speed is equal to distance over time. Time can be found by taking the value of distance over the value of speed. And the distance can be found by taking the value of speed times time. And if we recall this triangle, right, it's very easy to use this triangle to find speed. You just basically take speed time time. And then if you want to find speed, you just take distance over time. And if you want to find time, you just take distance divided by speed. Right, so according to Mr. George Poya, after you have uh, gone through stage one, stage two, now that's come, on, come down to stage three, that is to carry out the plan that is to formulate the equation, right? So first of all, we all agree to let the speed of the wind be x kilometer per hour. So we're going to break down the 
problems you know into smaller parts so first part is from sandy land to white city and the return journey is white city to sandy land so there are three variables here we're talking about speed so sandy land to white city will be 165 plus x the wind is pushing it and return journey it's against the wind so 165 minus x we are given that the total distance from sandy land to white city is 450 white city to sandy land is also 450 and from there we can find the time taken so the time taken will be use the value of distance over speed right so the next step is that how do we make use of these two pieces of information to formulate the equation right so in the questions you are told that the whole journey will be done in five and a half hours so in other words okay the first time taken with plus the second time taken will give you five and a half so how do i get five and a half now when you equate when you formulate an equation you have to make sure the units are the same throughout right so the units you are given the time taken in hour if you look at the speed it's 165 plus x kilometer per hour so therefore right you need to convert the total time taken in hour so 5 hours 30 minutes so 30 minutes convert to hours is 30 over 60 which is five, five and a half that's how you get up that's how we ended up getting five and a half hours right so the next step is that how do we go about solving this uh fractional equation right so we need to combine the two fractions into one single fraction on the left hand side find your common denominator right and then uh, from there you can formulate your numerator change five and a half into improper fraction simplify your numerator just by expanding it also expand your denominator and how do we get that that is to apply the, apply the algebraic identity a plus b times a minus b gives you a squared minus b squared equals 11 over 2 simplify the numerator simplify the denominator do a cross multiply the shortcut right there's a lot of algebra involved there you have to be very careful uh with this negative you just have to be very very careful okay while managing this part here will involve a lot of uh, algebraic manipulation right so finally we end up getting x squared equals to 225 so to find x it can be a positive 15 square root 2 to 5 or it can be negative 15 right but since speed is a positive value x represents speed and speed is a positive value therefore the speed of the wind is 15 km per hour we need to reject x equals to negative 15. right so i hope this uh video um, helps you to apply mr poya's uh, four steps of uh, problem solving hope you have fun solving it